So the second case in the Doppler effect is apparent frequency of sound heard when the observer is in motion with respect to a source at rest. That means exactly opposite case to the first one source is at rest. An observer is at a position let us assume this is O1 initially this observer is at a distance L. This observer is moving away from the source or moving from the source. So it has reached to another position. O2. The distance from O1 to O2 is V0 T0. Why? Because observer is moving with velocity V0 at a time T0 is taken from O1 to O2. So the distance is V0 T0. So the total distance is L plus V0 T0. When the observer is at a position O1 at a distance L from the source, the source has emitted a crest. This crest will reach the observer at a time T1. At T is equal to 0, the source has emitted a crest. It reaches the observer at time T1. The T1 is equal to L by, listen please, this to this the distance is L and here to here it is V0. So the velocities will be the addition of V plus V0. So L by V plus V0. Let us say this is equation 1. After that at a t is equal to t naught, it will release the crest again. It can reach the observer at time t2. So at t is equal to t naught because the time taken from O1 to O2 changes t naught. Source has emitted a crest again. It reaches the observer at time T2. So what is T2? T0 plus L plus V0 T0 whole divided by V plus V0. This is equation 2. So at a n t is equal to n seconds, this source has released the n plus 1th crest. At nth second, it has released the n plus 1th crest. So therefore, that is Tn plus 1 is equal to Nt0 plus L plus Nv0 T0 whole divided by V plus V0. This is equation 3. The time difference between the n plus 1th crest and to the first crest is said to be time period. So, we should find out the time period, then again the time period, reciprocal of the time period will become the apparent change in the frequency. That is the order. First source and the rest low on Observer first O1 and a position they get on it. E O1 and a position key source and on a distance L. E O1 and a position next to O2 ki change in. And observer move out. O2 ki change in. 
ఓ వన్ నుండి ఓ టూకి అతను వి నాట్ వెలాసిటీతో ట్రై చే ట్రావెల్ అయ్యాడు టి నాట్ టైం పట్టింది సో ఇక్కడ నుంచి కొన్ని డిస్టెన్స్ వి నాట్ ఇంటూ టీ నాట్ అవుతుంది సో ఎస్ నుండి ఓ టూకి ఉన్న టోటల్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఎల్ ప్లస్ వి నాట్ టీ నాట్ అవుతుంది అబ్జర్వర్ ఓ వన్ అనే పొజిషన్ దగ్గర ఉన్నప్పుడు సోర్స్ ఒక క్రెస్ట్ నిమిట్ చేసింది అది టీ వన్ అనే టైంలో అబ్జర్వ్ అని రీచ్ అవుతుంది సో ఆ టీ వన్కి ఈక్వేషన్ ఎల్ బై వి ప్లస్ వి నాట్ అబ్జర్వ్ ఓ టూ అనే పొజిషన్ దగ్గర ఉన్నప్పుడు ఇంకొక క్రెస్ట్ రిలీజ్ చేయబడింది అది అబ్జర్వ్ అనే టీ టూ టైంలో రీచ్ అవుతుంది సో టీ టూ ఇస్కో టీ నాట్ ప్లస్ ఎల్ ప్లస్ వి నాట్ టీ నాట్ బై వి ప్లస్ వి నాట్ అలాగే ఎన్త్ సెకండ్ దగ్గర ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్త్ క్రెస్ట్ రిలీజ్ అయింది సో టీ ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎన్ టీ నాట్ ప్లస్ ఎల్ ప్లస్ ఎన్ వి నాట్ టీ నాట్ బై వి ప్లస్ వి నాట్ ఈ టీ ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ క్రెస్ట్కి టైం టేకన్ ఫర్ ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ క్రెస్ట్కి టైం టేకన్ ఫర్ ద ఫస్ట్ క్రెస్ట్కి మధ్యన డిఫరెన్స్ని టైం పీరియడ్ అంటారు టైం పీరియడ్ కనుక్కున్న తర్వాత రెసిప్రోకల్ ఆఫ్ ద టైం పీరియడ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీని కూడా మనం అబ్జర్వ్ చేయొచ్చు సో ద టైం పీరియడ్ T is equal to T n plus 1 minus T 1 whole divided by n per 1 oscillation or per 1 crest. That's why we are dividing with n. Therefore, T is equal to T n plus 1 is n T naught plus L plus n V naught T naught whole divided by V plus V naught. minus t1 is equal to l by v plus v naught whole divided by n we will take the expansion n t naught plus l by v plus v naught plus n v naught t naught by v plus v naught minus l by v plus v naught whole divided by n this l by v plus v naught minus l by v plus v naught gets cancelled that is equal to t therefore t is equal to n t naught plus n v naught t naught by v plus v naught we can take n t naught as common whole divided by n because we should define for the single crest so t is equal to i take n t not as common 1 plus v not by v plus v not whole divided by n n n gets cancelled therefore t is equal to t not into v not by v plus v not in this v plus v not if v is much greater than v not then v plus v not approximately will become v therefore t is equal to t not into 1 plus v not by v so time period t is equal to t n plus 1 minus t 1 by n so t is equal to n t not plus l plus n v not t not by v plus v not minus l by v plus v not whole divided by n so t is equal to n t naught plus l by v plus v naught plus n v naught t naught by v plus v naught minus l by v plus v naught by n e expansion chasin the rotha e plus l by v plus v naught same term minus low on the cancel out so t is equal to n t naught plus n v naught t naught by v plus v naught whole divided by n out so pi nona terms low n t naught in common this the 1 plus v naught by this is 1 plus v naught by v plus v naught also so t naught into 1 plus v naught by v plus v naught e v plus v naught ni manamu v ana anukunte endukante v anedi much greater than v naught anukunnapudu t is equal to t naught into 1 plus v naught by v avutundi din nundi frequency ni manam kanukochu so we got time period t is equal to t naught into 1 plus v naught by v now we should find out the frequency frequency is nothing but reciprocal of the time period so frequency is equal to 1 by time period therefore 1 by t is equal to 1 by t not into 1 plus v not by v 
1 by t is nu is equal to 1 by t naught is nu naught into 1 plus v naught by v whole power minus 1. Again by applying the binomial expansion binomial expansion 1 plus v naught by v whole power minus 1 is approximately equal to 1 minus v naught by v. Now I am substituting this value in the place of nu. Therefore, nu is equal to nu naught into 1 minus v naught by v. This is the expression for apparent frequency when observer is in motion, source is at rest. There is a special case in this situation when observer is moving towards the source. Moving towards the source. Then V naught is replaced by minus V naught. So if I substituted the value, nu is equal to nu naught into 1 plus v naught by v. So, in this case, there is a possibility to find the highest apparent frequency and in this case, there is a possible to appear the lowest apparent frequency. So, t is equal to t naught into 1 plus v naught by v in up to frequency in 1 by time period and kunte 1 by t is equal to 1 by t naught into 1 plus v naught by v. So, nu is equal to nu naught into 1 plus v naught by v whole power minus 1 out. Binomial expansion up here 1 plus v naught by v whole power minus 1 may 1 minus v naught by v and by watch. So, nu is equal to nu naught into 1 minus v naught by v. This is the observer motion la undi source rush la unna pudu air predator and change in frequency or the apparent frequency ke expression. Because observer source vipu mo out in te, this expression lo v naught minus v naught out in the Therefore, nu is equal to nu naught into 1 plus v naught by v ka maharath undi. E case lo highest apparent frequency undi. E case lo lowest apparent frequency undi.